You've been criticized for coming forward and telling your story. I want to play a little bit uh, okay. uh, of uh, some sound from uh, the former Secretary of Defense, uh, Leon Panetta, talking about, specifically, he was talking about a colleague of yours uh, known as Mark Owen, who, who wrote that book, No Easy Day. Okay. Uh, but it could be applied to you as well. Take okay. a listen. People who are part of that operation, who commit themselves to the promise that they will not reveal the sensitive operations and not publish anything without bringing it through the Pentagon so that we can ensure that it doesn't reveal sensitive information. When they fail to do that, we have got to make sure that they stand by the promise they made to this country. I cannot, as secretary, send a signal to, to SEALs who conduct those operations, oh, you can conduct these operations, and then go out and uh, write a book about it uh, and, uh, or, or sell your story to the New York Times. How the hell can, can we run sensitive operations here that go after enemies if people are allowed to do that. Now, you, you haven't written a book about it. No. You haven't sold your story to anyone. But you are telling your story. What's your response to Secretary Panetta's concerns? Uh, my response to that is uh, this mission in particular, um, I, there was never going to be a right now I'm going to do this. And I'd never met any of the families of 9-11. Uh, I went up to donate a shirt anonymously at uh, the 9-11 Museum and Memorial. And while I was there, it was going to be a simple donation. I thought we'd be in there, get a quick tour, and then be out. Uh, but I walked into a room, and there were about 2911 families waiting there for me. I gave an impromptu speech where I actually talked about it pretty much for the first time. And to see the responses of these people, the, um, women, uh, women with their ha heads in their hands, and everyone in the room, including men bigger than me, were you know, crying and just saying that it was, uh, it was closure for them, uh, that, that this helped the healing process if it wasn't closure. And I realized that, that um, this, this is a pretty unique situation and I think it would be uh, irresponsible of me not if I can help this many I can help more and I thought that if I if I figured out a way to tell the story with respect for the tactics for the safety of our troops and the, the uh, uh, for the Department of Defense if I told in a way just my portion of a story that's kind of already out there if it can help people they can look someone in the eye that knows the guy that was responsible for 9-11 is dead um, I, I think it's worth it and, and I think I've taken those steps as you know there are members in the military who don't think you should be talking. Um, I want to share to you, share with you some criticism from a soldier friend of mine. Again, this is from him, not from me. Okay. But I, I, I <clears throat> solicited questions from, from troop friends, and he says, why can't he shut the hell up and be a quiet professional like SEALs are supposed to be? What's your response? My response to that is, again, uh, there are some things I'm not talking about. This one, I think, is so important for the families. It's so important historically. Um, it's so important that, I mean, more versions of, the, not, you know, more different parts of the story that we're seeing that I didn't see, I think it's important historically for this to get out there. Um, th th you know, this is, this is a mission that's very important. 